it's lovely to meet you today, Sophie. Um, everybody knows you as Sophie Lee Singer. Yeah. Um, tell us a little bit about um, who Sophie Lee Singer is, where you're from, and what you've been doing up to now. Um, well, I'm from Wolverhampton, um, I'm 20 years old. Um, I started writing songs when I was about 13, 14. Um, probably just started off writing poems and stuff, um, and then it just, you know, went into songwriting. Um, I used to just used to do music in school. Um, I didn't take it too serious at first, but then when I discovered that I could, you know, I did have quite a good voice, um, I'd just go into the, you know, rooms on my own and start just writing songs about anything that I felt. Um, so, um, then I used to record myself, you know, just on my MP3 and stuff, um, show my friends at school and they say, oh, they said it was good and stuff. So, um, you know, I thought from then, from about 14, that's that's what I wanted to do. And I, so I listened to a lot of music growing up, you know, different people, um, and that influenced me to, you know, want to do it myself. So, um, but then after trying for about a few months, I didn't know anybody or how to, you know, progress or get myself out there. So I did kind of give up. And um, so then for a few, like, I didn't start singing again and writing till I was about, um, I think it was till I was about 18, 17, 18. And then um, from then, from then, net to now, I've took it really serious, write, write all the time now. Anything that I feel, or any emotion, happy, sad, angry, anything, I'll write it down and it just, you know, turns into a song and then, then I just enjoy doing it. And um, as, I, as I've got older, my songs have got better and, um, you know, it's, it's becoming just a natural thing to do now when I get into my room and I've got something to write down. It just turns into a song and it's just, yeah. <laughs> So, so going back to um, trying to get yourself out there, what was yeah. you, your first good break, if you like? Was it was it working with um, a group or was it? I think when I start, when I started writing again, um, that's when I started talking to Webster and in Foot Four Force. Um, I was you know just recording choruses and um, MCing on the track and um, the verses and I was on the chorus and stuff and. Um, once I started putting those songs out again, like on Facebook, I'd have loads of people adding me. I didn't know whether were your voice is great. Your voice is... So then I think it was then when I joined Full Force, I attracted like another audience apart from my, you know, other than my friends and people yeah. at school and whatnot. I attracted like another group, um, group of people to start listening to me. So from then, um, it, it, you know. Because before then, I didn't have much confidence. I wouldn't. I didn't want to put myself out there because I was so scared of what people would say or cri like the criticism. I don't think I'd, I didn't think I'd be able to take it. But um, once people started, you know, asking me when when I'm doing another song or something like that, that made me think. Well, you know, people are listening. Gave you a book. Yeah, gave you the did, definitely. Yeah. Like even if it was five people that had said you're good, that that mm. just you know made me mm. think. Well five people listening so why not put something you know, for them to listen to so then from then it just you know made me think this is definitely what I want to do now and as um, you know I did more collaborations you know um, there's a song um, So In Love with um, Nasty and MC for More Factor and that I think we did a video to that and once we put that that, that gave me that gave us me a lot of attention then um, that was that was yeah, that was a big song that, you know, mm. helped me as well, definitely, that song did, um, yeah. So, big up to Full Force. Yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely, I mean, I'm not with them now, but mm. um, that's just simply because I wanted to, I was, I'm a singer, they're MCs, mm. and I'm not really focusing on, you yeah. know, the whole, I mean, I, I'm a fan of Grime, I listen to Grime all the time, that's one of my favourite, you know, genres of music, mm. but... It's not the lane that I'm mm. going down that, at all. Um, obviously, I support. I'll always support anything like you mm. know. But um, yeah, it, 
we were just doing different things and I found my lane that they were going down the street and then, yeah, yeah so, yeah. That's brilliant. So, at that time, you started to get some radio shows yeah, as well, didn't um, you? Yeah, I uploaded a track to, well that, I just, I was working on an EP at the time, the Stepping Sounds EP, this is in February 2011, yeah, and so, just a four track EP and there was a song on there that I felt, well, for me it was, it was a lot of people, a lot of people were paying um, interest to it and um, I uploaded it to the um, BBC Introducing and the next day I got an email saying that it had been played on radio and that was just like, wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, I listened back to it and yeah, that was really good because I'd never had anything like that, and it was a small, it was a small thing, but it was a big thing to me because I'd never had anything mm. like that before. So that that did boost my confidence a lot then, because then I knew, you know, I uploaded it, and the next day it had been played. So that was yeah, that was really good for me. That was. Um, I'm trying to think what else. And you were on Big City Radio. On the yeah, Big, big City show. Radio. Um, I did. That was I went with four fours then. I am. Um, perform a song on radio, um, the same song, um, Never Felt Like This, um, that, and I got, I think I gained, every time, you know, I upload a song or I think I do gain more, mm -hmm. you know, supporters and followers mm -hmm. on Twitter, people are adding me, you know, saying how much they liked it and how good I am and whatnot, so yeah, that, so then after that, the I put the EP out, um, Stepping Sounds EP, and that definitely gained me, you know, it gained me supporters that I knew will carry on supporting me, mm -hmm. um, people that want, you know, always asking when's money stuff out, you know, um, so I think, yeah, putting that EP out gained me, look, true supporters, if you, um, let's say, um, people that I know, whatever I put out, they'll be supporting it, so that was good for me, and it gave me a chance to see what people liked and what they didn't like and what they wanted to hear and um, what they think I should do more of and stuff so yeah it, it's it's good um, I wish I'd have put more out this year but I've just been focusing on a bigger project at the moment so next year I'll you know I think I know I think I know what I'm doing now and what I want to achieve and what I want to put out and you know what kind of music I want to make and stuff so yeah so what genre are you feeling then at the moment? My main main genre I like working on is like R and B, you know, like 'cause when I was growing up I listened to you know, I listened to like like Sierra's one of my main influences, Jojo and people like that, um Mariah Carey and um Ashanti, all those kind of, you know, the old hip hop R and B kind of vibe. So that is what I'm that's my main but I I'm versatile so I can write to anything so yeah but R&B, hip hop, that's my main you know but um, I don't know I'd, I'd, I'd like to I just want to create I think I found my um, my like a unique style of singing and writing so mm -hmm. now it's just about putting that on a track and any track any genre and just getting that out there and so I think because I've found a unique way of writing and singing and a certain flow and stuff, mm. I think that's I think that helps me stand out a bit. Mm. So um, yeah, I just want to get if I can get that out there, then yeah. Are you currently yeah. working with a record label? No, I'm not with the I'm not with I'm just um, independent independent at the moment. Um, just yeah, just so. So which producers have you been working with? Producers, um, well, from. When I started, obviously I've worked with um, CRT. He's he he's instrumentals. They're probably the best ones I've worked with because I find that when I write to those, it just comes out just so easily. Um, yeah, so there's CRT. Um, yes. Um, on my EP, there was a track by um, Thomas Meller. Um, um, and, uh, uh, Tony Young, I think he's from Birmingham way, and um, Bales, who was in Full Force, but that's how I know him, but he's not anymore. Um, who 
else I've worked with. Um, Um, got a track. Um, well, James. He's from. I've just known him from years. Um, so I've worked with him. Um, and now I'm now since being on Twitter, there's a lot of people um, that I'd like to work with, and that I've got bits that I'm you know ready to write. So I'll rinse them man. Um, who else? Um, yeah, I'm trying to think. Okay. Um, I can't think. My mind's gone blank. Oh, that's okay. Um, but there's lots of people here. Yeah, there's lo there's loads of people, and there's lots of people that I'd like to work with, like um, Swifter, Predator. There's mm. a lot of people that mm. I'd like to work mm. with. Um, but yeah, there's the producers that I've worked with, um, have been good for me because. I think they know my, my style and they know my tone and the way I sing and the beats have suited my writing so yeah it's been good yeah. So. In terms of um, studio, um, how have you been getting on with studio time? Um, stu well I've recently just started working full time so I pro probably don't, I don't get to go to the studio as much as I'd like to but um, because I'm earning money now I can pay for you know regularly so I try and I try and go I don't go I don't set you know a day I don't go every week but I go when I've got enough songs strong songs and they're you know perfected and then I take them and then um, so I will I will go every month but some saying that if I don't feel that I haven't got anything I only go to studio when I th feel that the songs that I've wrote are going to make a difference. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah, so yeah. they would they're worth it. So obviously at the moment I'm working on a mixtape for um, April. I want to put it out. So I'm going to be 21 next year. So I want to. I feel that if I put it out, it's something that I'd always wanted to do. By the time I'm 21, I wanted to have you know a big project mm. out, and it would feel like an achievement for me. That mm. was just one of my personal goals. So yeah, at the moment I'm working on a mixtape for April. I um, haven't got a name for that yet, but um, yeah, so anything I do in the studio now will be for that, so that's just, you know, going to be, um, obviously, honest songs um, with a, you know, um, mixture of genres and styles of the songs, but will all come together as one. Um, and is that with um, yeah. DJ Apostle? Yeah, Apostle is an engineer, he is probably the best in... Midlands, anyone will tell you that, and um, knows exactly what he's doing, and he's he helps me a lot. He'll tell me when I'm good, when I'm doing good, when something's not right, and that's what I need. I need, you know, I need the. I, I can't. I don't need someone to tell me, yeah, you. That's really good when it's not. I need that, you know. I need someone to be hard on me so I can improve, and yeah, you yeah. know, you need someone to tell. Back progression. Yeah, you need someone to tell you where you're going wrong and stuff. Mm. And honest, being mm. honest with you, because then that's going to help you. Mm. But yeah, he's he's great. He's really good. Yeah. Tell us a little so, bit about the voice. Um, the voice. Um, I applied for the voice. That was in. I love that. I can't remember what month it was, but I got the said the um I got an email saying I had an audition. Um, they said um to choose a song that represented you but I didn't feel that, that any I couldn't f find a song that represented me as such so I thought I'd, I'd sing one of my own songs because I wrote it it was about how I felt at the time so I thought so um personally I think the audition I didn't I didn't get through um but personally I did think the audition went well um and it didn't it didn't even though I didn't get through it didn't you know um, it didn't knock me back. It, it made me think. Well, things like this will happen. Mm. You're not gonna, you know, please everyone all mm. the time. So um, after that, I just it, it made me start working even harder because mm. to try and prove that I can. You know, you're you're gonna get some no's, mm. but you know, it makes you. If this, I mean, a few years ago, if that had happened to me a few years ago, I would have. I it probably would have just made me stop. But that's the thing. Since I've been on this little journey, it's, my confidence has grown so much now that um, things like that will probably won't knock me back, so mm -hmm. it will just 
push me mm -hmm. to work harder. So yeah, it was a good experience, and um, you know I didn't get through. I enjoyed watching it and seeing what I could have mm -hmm. done on it. But um, at the same time, it it showed me the level of talent on there, and perhaps what I and it showed me what I needed to actually be on yeah. there. So then it helped me also mm -hmm. to you know um, try and what's the word. And better myself, mm. what you know, what I need to get on there. So yeah, it was what I needed to improve and stuff. So yeah, it was good. In terms of um, live appearances, have you got any coming up? Um no, I don't. I mean, I have. I have. I don't for a singer. I don't. I don't. I think it's because I haven't got the the networking, and I don't talk to. At the moment, I'm. To, I obviously talk to producers and other singers, MCs and whatnot, but. In terms of like performances, I haven't had many because I don't think I'm talking to the right people and stuff. As I started, you know, within the grime scene and stuff, not in the right, you know. So, um, I mean, I'd love to do live performances. That would, obviously, that's what singers should be doing. So, hopefully, I can network with the correct people and get myself into that. But, um, as of, yeah, no, I haven't got any um, live performances now. Well, I'd recommend any promoter out there to book you because yeah. you're absolutely <laughs> wonderful as far as we're concerned. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, looking um, at the sort of uh, topical things that are going on in the world at the moment, yeah. if you were a celebrity, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> would you go in the jungle? No, no, um, no way. I hate anything, I hate, spoil I hate anything like that. I hate spoilers, I hate... No, no way. I don't think I could do it. I'd, I could do anything with the, uh, the food, eating the bugs and that, but not, no, I don't think I could do it. <laughs> no. So the spiders would no, be yeah. off completely? I hate, hate spiders. So we're not going to see you on Get Me Out of Here? No. <laughs> <laughs> no if, it was, if it was for a good cause, if, I, if there was a good something behind it, maybe, but no way. Not no, I hate spiders. <laughs> At the moment, who who are you sort of rating? Um, you know, who who are the artists that you're rating? Um, locally or but a bit of both, really. Um, locally, um, definitely Daps from Birmingham. He's just, you know, he sings and MCs. Mm. He writes about real things, and mm. you can tell mm. that they're all real. Mm. Um, his music is it, it's proper music. It's it's not, it's, yeah, it's just, it's good, it will go somewhere, I think, mm -hmm. and I think a lot of people would say that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so Daps, um, who else do you listen to? There's a lot of people, I mean, there's a lot, Birmingham, I'm from, I'm from Wolverhampton, I, I listen to a lot of Birmingham artists, there, there's a lot of talent in Birmingham, um, MCs, there's, they They've, they've got they've, they all they've got a lot behind them. Do you know what I mean? They the, the do the work. You can see that they work hard. Producers as well. Um, mm. they work really hard, and the night they're getting the names out mm. there. Um, so I won't say anyone specific, but Daps definitely. Mm. I mean, he's you know, um, and anyone around him. Mm. Yeah. So. Yeah, so from the well known. Um. Well, people that I listen to. I like, as I said, Sierra, you know, Jessie J, Adele, Pete, now I'm listening to, um, so obviously Adele, she's just like, mm. smashed it, like mm. she's, mm. you know, um, but, um, I don't know, I listen to, I do li try and listen, I listen to everything, so, but, um, obviously my favourites are Sierra and people like that, so yeah, that's who I'm, you know, and any, anyone really that's, anything, any music that's real, just honest music. I don't. I'm not writing any of this. You know the um, how everyone's turning over to this kind of dance, poppy music. Mm. I don't like that at mm. all. Because you've got people that have, you know, you've watched them go doing, you know, the real R and B and stuff, and then they've changed to, and it just makes you not appreciate the music. But any music that's real, um, is you can appreciate it. So anyone that's doing that, yeah, I'm writing them. I can't think of anyone specific, but definitely any real music, mm. honest music, mm. is the best music mm. to me, yeah. Talking about being real, 
which song do you think you know meant the most to you in terms of revealing how you were feeling? Um, at the moment, I don't think. I, obviously, my songs are all based on real life things, but I don't think of. I think my songs that are the most honest I haven't put out yet. They'll be on my mixtape, mm. but um, um, probably yeah. I I mean my songs that like off the EP and stuff and what I've wrote with other people um, they are they are honest, but they they weren't deep. Like the songs that I've got now. So when I put out something mm. now, then then I think I'll be able to I'll be able to answer that question. Yeah. So yeah. when you like, but it, my mix side that's gonna be out. That's that's gonna be like m most honest music mm. I've probably wrote. Mm. I think the music that I wrote um, beforehand, it was it was honest, but I think I didn't go as deep as yeah. I have done now. So mm. yeah, I'd probably be able to answer that question mm. once my new music out. Yeah. So that definitely shows progression. Doesn't yeah, it? definitely. Yeah. It's the more I write, the more I just let myself go. Mm. The more because you know when I started writing, it would just be typical. Mm. You know, you know, love songs with no. I didn't have a clue what I was writing about, mm. but it rhymed and it sounded mm. good, and I just mm. could sing it. But and then as it goes on, more you get more life experiences as you get older, and um, good things and bad things. But either way, you can write a song about it, and it has an impact. Um, and then as you gain more confidence, you're not as scared to put your emotions out into a song and you don't have to say any names or anything or anything like that, but when you get when you gain more confidence, you're able to write exactly how you're feeling and in a way, I'm telling the world, uh, me, but mm. if, if it's in a song, it doesn't matter to me because mm. that's what I want to do and yeah. if I can express how I feel in a song, then that's perfect. So that's you know, that's what I want to do. So. And that's when someone will, someone else will relate to it, won't they? Yeah, you? definitely. Yeah. There's going to be someone that's had heartbreak and <laughs> heartache and whatever, and someone will make them feel happy. Or you know, there's a lot of. Hopefully, that's what I want to do. People will be able to relate, and I have had people. Like, there was a song, the song with nasty. Someone inboxed me and said this song was perfect for me at the time, blah, blah, and that's what I want. I said that was only one song, but that's what I want to do. Mm. People to. You know, eventually I'll write songs that will help people mm. through hard times mm. and whatnot. So, you know, I want that. I want to have that effect with my songs. So, yeah. You've recently done a music video with Euro Dollars. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell us a little bit about that. Um, that was that was a song I wrote. That was another CRT production. Um, it took me literally about half an hour to write the whole song, but it was it was about. It was something that um, it was just true. It was just the, the lyrics. Yeah, uh, never leave you sorry. That's so cool. that's what it's called. Um, the lyrics was about someone that the song explains it all. And um, it wasn't. It, I didn't. It wasn't on my EP or anything. Um, and it probably won't. Probably won't be on my mixtape. But it was just a song at the time that um, it just. I just wanted to write it and it was just explained, you know, what was going on at the time and um yeah, so we did a video with um Joshua from Jojo from Grind Blog. Um he recorded it and um yeah, we got Euro Dollars to um act in it, so yeah, that was good, yeah. It's a lovely tune. Yes. Yeah, so, well Pete I did have a good response off that, even off boys mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. they said they, they listened to it yeah. and um, I know people have got yeah. it in their car and yeah, it was, their so, kids yeah. are singing it yeah definitely yeah. <laughs> someone um, messaged me about, sent me a video of the mm -hmm. two year old daughter singing it yeah, so yeah. that was like mad for me mm -hmm. That was, and I think if that's just one person like imagine if mm -hmm. you know 100 mm -hmm. million people would you know singing my songs and stuff that's what I want to happen so, so have you actually released it as a single? Um, I put it I put it as a video, as a video, but I haven't, I haven't um, released it as a single. It wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't planned mm. to be for anything. But um, I don't know. I might put it on the mixtape. I might not. Mm. I don't know. I'm mm. not sure yet. But it, it did have a good response. Yeah. That song did, yeah. Yeah. Okay. It was just simple. So it was just simple and you know effective. Mm. And the way I sung it, I think people liked it. So I think it's had such a good response. Yeah. You should definitely get it out there. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, Sophie, so you're going to give us a little flavour of one of your songs yeah. now. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, um, I'm going to do a song, it's called um, Love No More. Um, it will be on my mixtape in April. Um, yeah, I'll do a um, verse and a chorus and a cappella of it. Yeah. I spent the last few years, I made me so weak. Falling in and out of love and all the happiness. It should have made me stronger, but it's done the opposite. How can I move on if I can let go of these things? It's messing up my mind, it's damaging my health. I said I'd never show a little bit of love to no one else. My heart is just so weak, and here I am again. In the same position, why can I just help myself? There must be somebody out there with love for me to share. But I can't see no one, so for now I'm on my own. Right now I really need a friend. They say after the rain goes, you'll see a rainbow. So that you need sun, and I ain't getting none, so just watch my pain grow. I gave you all of my heart. I gave you all of my love. But I guess you needed more, the whole of me wasn't enough I always made you feel close, I always stood by your side But you just couldn't love me and I guess we'll never know why That's it. <laughs> Wow, that's, that was lovely <laughs> So that's coming out on you? Yeah, that will, be, that will be something on my mixtape, I'm recording that today actually um, Yeah that will be one of the songs on my mix I've been aiming for. I haven't got a name for it yet, but it will come when it all comes yeah. together. The name will definitely come. It's, so, yeah. So big up to DJ Apostle. Yeah, DJ Apostle. I recommend everyone gets down to his studio because he's the best engineer um, there is. So. Where's the studio? Um, it's at his. It's at his home. Then. Oh right. Okay. He's, um, so they well, need to contact him. Yeah. Directly. So um, his Twitter. It's Apostle One Away. Um, yeah, you can get him on Twitter. Mm. Um, yeah, but I definitely recommend going to his. He will. He'll bring out if you. You know, if you've got talent and you know what you're doing, he'll bring out the best in you. Mm. Yeah, definitely. So for everybody who wants to get your um, latest releases, where can they find yeah, your so, links? Yeah, um, so if anything to do with music, um, my Twitter is at Sophie Lou Singer. Um, I am on Facebook. Um, Sophie Lou Nedrick. Um, I have a SoundCloud which is Sophie Lou Music and YouTube which is Sophie Lou so Sophie Lou Sophie Lou Tube, that's it. <laughs> yeah, so um yeah, everything's floating around there. Um yeah, but like I said, my next my next main release will be in April, but who not? I will have video. Obviously, I'll have videos building up to that off the um, mixtape, and I might put another little EP just mm -hmm. of things that didn't go onto that yeah. mixtape. And yeah, but definitely, the, you'll see a lot coming now. Um, videos and whatnot, and singles and everything. So mm -hmm. yeah, that's good to hear. Yeah. So thanks very much for talking yeah. to Midlands Music Scene today. Yeah. Um. Big shout out to Midlands Music Scene and Kathy as well. Um. Obviously, doing a lot. You're doing a lot for the Midlands. Always on Twitter, supporting Midlands artists. So that's you know, it's a really good help. And me doing this today, that's helped as well. So thank you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>